Alrighty. So in my presentation at Moz, uh, the MozCon, one of the things I, I, I was encouraging folks to do is to automate parts of the competitive analysis. The data aggregation and the how do I stay on top of what my competitors do. So you can obviously see that presentation on, um, on my slide share. But I wanted to give a real example of uh, how this actually works in the flesh. So basically, um, one example that I'm using here is with this site built with. And built with, if uh, Macy's.com was one of my competitors, it just kind of gives me an overall technology overview of, you know, the e-commerce platform they use. Um, you know, I can even get, uh, you know, what kind of A-B testing software they might be using, um, what kind of analytics. Uh, you know, I can see that they're using um, different things for customer feedback or to improve conversions, uh, like monetate and the test things. I can see they're using test and target. So you can kind of see what they're up to and what kind of technologies they're deploying. Think about what you could do, or like the competitive intelligence, if you knew the minute that your competitor installed a software that does A-B testing. It might tell you that they're starting to make investments in certain places, right? Which hopefully will then get you uh, the ability to get buy-in from your managers to do the same thing. So. What I've got here is um, I want to show you guys how to automate part of this process of understanding when my competitors are imp installing new tools or new technologies. So that starts with page to RSS. What you basically would do is you would take this URL here from built with, you would copy it and paste it into page to RSS, and then it would come out with a page that looks like this. And there is a RSS feed right here that you would then copy and paste in to if this, then that which I'm going to show here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new recipe and I'm going to say if this happens, so if in a feed, I'm going to paste it into here. Here's my feed. It's not my feed. Let me get my feed. Copy it from here. Drop it into here. And now I'm basically saying, okay, um, anytime something changes to that page, every time that page changes, I want you to do something. Uh, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into Evernote and I wanted to create a new note for me. Conceptually, by, uh, by putting all this in Evernote, it allows me to say that maybe once a week or once every two weeks or once a month, whatever the interval that's right for you and your client is, I want to go into Evernote and open it up and see all the different things my competitors have been up to. It could be everything from links they've attained to, um, to new technologies they're using to brands that they're making videos on in YouTube. Um, and I show all of those different examples in my, uh, in my slide deck. But I might call this something like competitor technology. Yeah, whatever. Let's change it. Competitor technology change, right? And um, I don't really care what's in the body, but my notebook might be uh, Macy's, for instance. And then tags are really, really important because I want to be able to retrieve this later. So I might do tech. Uh, I might do competitor. And I would do, let's say, Macy's. And that way, down the road, I can pivot um, or sort by any of these different tags. And I just click Create Action, and there we go. So now, um, once I click Create Recipe, anytime Macy's makes a change to their technology platform, as indicated by Built With, it will be in my Evernote. So then if I check it weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, whatever it is, um, I'll know kind of what they're up to and how I can go about um, ensuring that I'm able to compete. So hopefully this helps. And uh, if you guys come up with some of your own recipes, feel free to share.